Hey everybody, this is Amy Kynes and I hope this finds you doing really well. Today I wanted to talk to you about differentiating by product as a great way to engage your students, particularly this time of year as they are beginning to perhaps get a little bit off task or their minds might be wandering a little bit as they're distracted by the upcoming holidays. So to differentiate by product, there are three steps that you're going to follow every time. The first step is that you're going to be thinking about the learning target. So what is it you want students to know and be able to do by the end of the teaching segment? So once you're crystal clear on what you want students to know and be able to do, your second step is to think about the criteria for success. Criteria for success simply means what is it that has to be in there that lets me know students have mastered that learning target. So what will show me they've got it? What is the criteria? So I know my learning target and I know my criteria. And then step three is the fun part. Step three is the differentiation. So what are all the different ways my students might show me they have mastered this particular learning target? What kinds of products might they produce to show me they've got it? Again, it's based on the learning target and it's based on the criteria. So they might write an essay, they might create a story, they might um, do an interview, they might create a wrap, they might actually build something, they might make a 3D rendering, they might make a podcast, they might draw, they might create, they might dance, they might physically build something. The sky is the limit and your creativity is the only thing that's going to limit you here. So you first create your learning target, you think about the criteria for success, and then you decide what, what products are a good match for that. You might solicit input from your students as well and ask them what products would they like to do to show you that they have mastered the learning target. So I wanna give you an example here. Let's say for example, you're teaching elementary school and your learning target is by the end of the lesson, students will be able to explain to you the life cycle of a butterfly. So that's the learning target. Now your criteria is that they are able to explain what happens at the egg stage, the caterpillar stage, the chrysalis stage, and the butterfly stage. So that's my criteria. And if students can do explain at each of those four stages, then I know they have mastered my learning target. Now the different products that they produce can be wide ranging. So here are some examples. They might write a paragraph, they might create a poster or a whole wall mural with explanations for each of the different stages. They might do a choreographed dance showing the life cycle of the butterfly and explaining what happens at each stage. They might create an interview with a butterfly and have the butterfly explain what happened in the different life events that had taken place in the butterfly's life. They might have a mock trial interviewing somebody to explain the life of what happened to the missing caterpillar. They might create a mural. They might create all kinds of different displays. The sky's the limit here with just this one example and you can now think about it with your own content. So number one, you think about what's the learning target and then what's the criteria for success. And then from there, think about all the different kinds of products students might produce. We've created a resource for you that might help you think of different products that would be a good match for your learning target and your criteria. This is a great time to experiment with it. It's right before the holidays. Students are really looking for something different to do. And as you'll notice, as you give students more voice and choice here, they're gonna be more engaged, more excited, and their learning will deepen. If differentiation is something you're interested in learning more about, we've got a great workshop that's coming up at the beginning of January. You can find out more information at our website, which is www.readyaimteach.com. On behalf of all of us here at Ready Aim Teach, thank you for what you do for students each and every day.